Hey everybody, Chris here. Well, it's good to see cryptos in the green again. It's been a while, been a long bear market. Things tend to be turning around. Uh, again, I don't give my hopes up that we're gonna be having this huge rise. I think we're still gonna be doing some sideways trading and there could be some other dips. But it's certainly good to see Dogecoin green today. We'll take a look at the charts and I'll show you more in detail. Always, please subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate the support. Also, I have a giveaway going on on Twitter, so please join me on Twitter, at Chris Crypto, and, uh, and do follow me on Twitter and engage with my tweets, and I'll be giving away Dogecoin. That's what this is about, right? And that's why Dogecoin, I think, is seeing some great gains, because there's a lot of talk about Dogecoin being used as currency, Dogecoin is tipping, and it continues to be used even in this bear market. People are using their Dogecoin because that's what it's about. We've got a great Dogecoin community and we continue to talk about Elon Musk and Tesla and SpaceX and what else is going on. We'll see. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the charts and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we'll start here by looking at the Dogecoin chart. This is on the one hour, and here we are at 669, 669, uh, the current price of Doge. I'm zoomed out a little bit to the one hour chart because I want to show where we were back on June 21st when we had this big run, and Dogecoin had come up just above this level and actually had just touched seven cents before trading back down. So... This isn't quite a run that we're on. Look at the volume. The volume is way down. I think a lot of this is, is just bot trading. I don't see a whole lot of people coming and buying Dogecoin right now like we had back here on the 21st of June. But I think that will come and we'll see the volume tick up if this continues up. I'm expecting this to kind of come back down a little bit. Would like to see 625 as support with the trading of Doge so it doesn't drop back below into the fives. I know there's some of you saying, oh, I wanted to drop more because I want to buy more. We could still see that coming. If I zoom out again and I go to the daily, uh, what I'm looking at are these lines. These are the three lines I've been talking about. These were the drops. The drops were in Bitcoin. I go over to Bitcoin and I see those first two. Those two drops, were done by the market makers uh, to close out margin positions. Uh, that's how they move the, the prices to be able to uh, get those that are, that are using leverage uh, to liquidate. And that's what we saw. And I've been talking about that for, for a number of days. So that was done with Bitcoin, Doge, and all the others followed. Could we see another one of these? in July. I was talking about this on the, my live stream last night, which I had to do on Thursday instead of Friday, because I'm going to go to New York City uh, on Friday. So I won't be able to live stream Friday night this week. But I'll be back to my Friday lives next week. But this is what we're looking at is, uh, is on the daily, we're looking at this upward trading of Dogecoin up over six and a quarter. Uh, my target is still eight and a half. Eight and a half going to be resistance. Uh, we could see uh, seven cent resistance along the way, but I'm expecting another dip. And right now, if we're looking at the trend as it's happening, that could be around the middle of July. And that's what I'm looking for is a possible dip somewhere around there, because I don't think Bitcoin is done yet. I don't think Bitcoin is done with liquidating uh, positions. So once that happens, I think there's going to be a big move, particularly in Doge, probably SHIB as well. And we're going to see some great trading upward as excitement and momentum uh, returns to, to the so-called meme coins. That's most likely going to happen. Uh, with this trading, uh, again, you know, somewhat sideways. That's kind of where we are now. Um, volume has come down from sort of these lows, particularly back here on June 14th when Doge dropped down below five cents. That was pretty tough trading seeing that. 
Uh, but if you bought Doge at that time and you got Doge at 4.9 cents, great for you. You hit, you hit good timing. Will Doge drop down and see that sub 5 cent mark again? Again, I'd say that's dependent on Bitcoin and whether Bitcoin goes through another big dump. And if that happens, we could see Doge follow along as well. So my recommendation, although not a financial advisor, would be have some cash ready. Have some cash on the exchange ready to buy when there's a big dip, if that's what you're looking to do. Some of you are just dollar cost averaging. You get a little money and you just buy Doge is what it is. You know, a number of months ago, people would have dreamed of buying Doge at 6.7 cents. And here we are at 6.7 and not a lot of people are buying. So that's... I think part of the, the bigger picture, though, of the economic condition that we're in. A lot of people are in this wait and see mode, uh, just kind of waiting to see what happens. And that's where we are. So me too. I'm in this wait and see mode too. I want to see how Doge trades through the first week of July and then make a decision on whether I'm going to be buying more. But that's what I'm looking at. As far as Doge. So like I said, I don't think we're out of the woods yet when it comes to the overall bear market. I think we're seeing a, a good rise in the price because of uh, good trading and some short-term positive outlook. However, the overall economy is still challenged in terms of inflation and interest rates. We still have a war going on and we still have new variants of COVID, which leads to supply chain issues, which leads to shortages in uh, gas and oil and other things. It's just not the type of economic market that we would want to go on a huge bull run. I do see that coming in the future though, may not be as far away as many think now. So. What does this mean? Is this a good time to buy Dogecoin? I'm still waiting for another dip. I still think there's going to be another dip coming, but it's good to see the positive green trading that we have now because it's been a long time. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the trading of Dogecoin and other cryptos and this green market that we're seeing right now. Give the video a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.